Hello, this is the comments video for Fur Clever Ethernet Hacks. Here is the video for you to view. Sorry, sometimes I'm prone to use completely random and slightly offensive accents. All right, let's see what you guys had to say about the video. The video. All hell mighty Ethernet. Indeed. Sneaker net for life. In the age of data collecting and traffic monitoring, it's surprising that keeping files on a floppy is still a more secure means of transferring data than through the internet. Making the statement that the ethernet cable is becoming obsolete is just ignorant. The wireless router, modem, etc. will always need a physical connection to the ISP, unless it's a cellular connection, in which case it's not even practical. But in the age of wireless communication, these retro pieces of computing history are becoming more and more obsolete. I agree that routers and modems will always need a physical connection to the ISP, but I don't agree that that connection is going to be Ethernet. Fiber optic is much more secure and much faster. And wouldn't you agree that ISPs would prefer that over standard Ethernet for delivering content? You can call it ignorance, but one thing that I do know is that clinging to archaic edifices of technology generally means that technology has already passed you by. Ethernet cables are not obsolete. Ethernet is faster than wireless, so it'll always be around. I see Ethernet cables as suffering a similar but probably worse fate than the phone cable. Not currently, obviously, but in the not-so-distant future. Aside from Ethernet cables being completely replaced by fiber optic, I see wireless technologies drastically improving and I see people being more willing to choose mobile internet over faster internet. You can take your 3G and 4G internet everywhere, but you have to leave your Ethernet cable at home. What's the difference between a gigabit connection and a regular one? Internet speeds are measured in bits, and currently U.S. customers get around 10 megabit internet speeds. Now considering that a gigabit connection is over 1,000 megabits, you can see how much faster that is than the current internet speed average. Everyone has gigabit now, so the hacks are useless? I'm pretty sure that's not true, at least not in the U.S., but then again, we're pretty far down on the list when it comes to fast internet speeds. According to HighSpeedGeek.com, there are currently 13 cities in the United States that offer gigabit connections. And considering there are over 25,000 cities in the U.S., that means that only 0.05% of cities offer gigabit connections. At least that is until Google starts rolling out its sweet, sweet Google Fiber everywhere. Your wiring schematic isn't what I know is standard. The chart at 233 is standard. Why the discrepancy? Thanks for all the great videos. The standard is flexible in so much that the orange twisted pair and the green twisted pair can be switched. So it doesn't matter which standard you use as long as you're consistent with it. I'm not so sure about the statement at the 340 mark. Isn't that what shielded twisted pair is for? to keep in mind when using the excess wires of a network cable is that the more data you have flowing through a cable, the more opportunities for interference. Data leakage occurs in all Ethernet cables regardless of if they're shielded, a twisted pair, or a combination of the two. Twisted pairs can prevent some data leakage, but not all. Likewise, shielded twisted pairs can also only prevent some data leakage. To prove this point, if you run an electrical cable right beside your Ethernet cable, you should see a slightly weaker signal. So imagine if you run electricity or extra data through a single Ethernet cable. You should see an even worse signal. Great video. I know this is a bit off topic, but do you take guest posts on your Tinkernut mini blog? No, probably not. So I had to make a business decision on whether to focus on my website community or my YouTube community. And considering my website community was plagued with spammers, which led to my Google AdSense account being disabled on multiple occasions, I decided to focus on my YouTube community. Hence this comments video. But that doesn't mean that user-submitted content is gone for good. I just have to find a different means of accepting it and showing it. So should we hack some fun into our weekends anymore? Good sir, you can hack some fun into anything you want. 
I stopped saying that because my tutorials are now on Tuesdays, so it's kind of irrelevant to mention the weekend. All right, guys, thanks very much for the feedback, and I will see you all next week. And hack some fun into your weekend.